Along with Tim Kirch and Carl Rabbit, Spotlight Highlight, only one game, NLCS, Mets and the Cubs, freezing temperatures. I mean, it was nasty cold, but couldn't tell from Jake Arrieta's arm, and I thought it was the Mets who have all the superheroes. Well, the Mets, <laughs> no Syndergaard was a superhero tonight. David Wright said the other day, look, I'm fine, but I stink. That's what he was saying. I'm healthy. I just can't hit right now. And he did hear fastball out over the plate, ends up with a big double to score Granderson. Mets lead a one nothing. Boy, Dexter Fowler playing really shallow there as Wright hit one over his head. And at one zip, it almost felt like the way Syndergaard was going and Arietta was having trouble locating. This game might have been over. Daniel Murphy hit a foul ball home run. And how often do you see the foul ball home run followed by the fair ball homer? Like never. Right. And this one he just hooked inside. So he's got a homer now off of Kershaw, Granke, Lester, and Arietta in this postseason. Only two active players have a homer off of him during their entire careers. That's Carlos Gonzalez and Giancarlo Stanton. That's pretty amazing. That's a pretty good fearsome foursome that he's taken out of the yard. So Murphy with one hand on the bat does that. And Arietta first inning, three runs, like never happened. He's done it once in his entire career. Came 10 starts into his career on July 30th, 2010. Kyle Schwarber was 17 years old in 2010. All right, they got the whole Thor thing going. Uh, night after Matt Harvey was dominant, he was ridiculous as well, but the only hard hit ball was this one, and Granderson made sure it was an out. And the look on Syndergaard's face and the look on Coglin's face, both priceless. And how about Curtis Granderson, the way he's playing, running, hitting, and going to the wall and making leaping catches? Yeah, he and Daniel Murphy having outstanding, outstanding series, both offensively and defensively, and equally as good on the base pass. We saw Murph steal bases the other night. We saw Granderson go in this game. And there is Syndergaard painting low against Montero. And more 98-mile-an-hour heat. He has not allowed a run in the fifth inning the entire season. Doesn't look like he ever allows a run in the first five innings. No. Six innings been a little bump in the road for him with a man on second. And behind three and one, Matt Harvey makes a call. He's looking for Commissioner Gordon or the Batman. <laughs> this one off the wall. Conforto sliding like Manny Ramirez once did to stop the ball. So no runs allowed in the fifth all year. 16 runs allowed in the sixth. That is weird. And they get Syndergaard out of the game. He did his job. John Neese, who warms up all the time, they brought him <laughs> in. Good for him. Yeah, he's hot. Joe's looking for a little help behind the plate. Come on, Blue. Mm, Rizzo swung at that one. May have been ball four, but a tough pitch. You're not going to not swing at it. Look at the Met crazies going nuts here. We're going to go up two zip if this keeps going. Ninth inning of this one. It's every ninth inning we see Familia on the mound. And he has been so good in this postseason. 26 batters faced. Three of them have reached. And there was a question whether he'd pitch in this game. He did and pitched very well again. Very, very impressive and sort of that uh, sleeper hold that the Met pitching staff can apply to an offense. This is a Cubs team that came in rolling. And they've been shut down twice now. Right. And it just proves again, Ravi, in this year of the pitcher or these last few years of the pitcher, when the pitcher is locating and yep. he has stuff like Syndergaard, it doesn't matter who he's facing. You can't hit that. That 98 painting down and away is unhittable stuff, much like Matt Harvey had in game one. And if Jacob DeGrom throws the way that he's thrown in this postseason, is the Cubs are going to see this again in game three. You can do all you want as a hitter, but when the pitcher does exactly what he wants to do, the hitter doesn't have much of a chance. First loss in an Arietta start since July 25th. That was the Hamels no hitter. This wasn't no hit stuff, but it certainly felt like very few hits. And once again, the Cubs go back to back and they don't get the double digit hits that we've seen them used to. That's Tim Kirch and I'm Carl Ravitch, our spotlight highlight.